Hey guys, we are live on YouTube. How are you guys doing? I have a whole bunch of different <clears throat> already in the chat in the video. Uh, I prepared today and I send the invite to everybody a half hour before, but I forgot to unlock. So some people were just stuck there in limbo. So um, welcome uh, everybody. Uh, we're already uh, nine people in here. So that's awesome. Hello, Keegan. Evening. We have Kagan, we have Spin Rush RC with us, Bill Biden's with us, uh, Brad Kalman, AZ Froggy, John Martin, Trail Crawler, <coughs> and, uh, KBRC. So, do you, KBRC, did you try your MP? Is it fixed? Is it we're going? What's going on? Yeah, it's. I don't know what happened. It just came back. So, what do you mean it came back? It was just, I can see you guys now. <laughs> oh, no, I mean your stampede. Did oh, you my stampede? stampede? Yeah, I fixed it all up. Is it running it's, good now? Yeah, it's running good. I was going to ask you a question about that. Um, is there a way I can adjust them brakes? It's like I hit the brakes and the whole thing just flips right over because it's going so fast and the brakes hit so hard. Yeah, you got to uh, put your slipper clutch. Just loosen your slipper clutch a little bit. Okay. Because, <clears throat> you know, that nut on the end of my slipper clutch yeah. came all the way out. Okay. I was driving it around and I'm like, what in the hell? I, I thought the spur gear was stripped again and I took it all apart and the nut on the slipper, the, the spring is just like really loose. If your nut on the slipper clutch is coming out, that's because the nylon, there's a nylon on it. And that because the, the nylon is gone. It's, it's, it doesn't do its job anymore because it should not come out that easy. Okay. I get another, uh, so how should I tighten like, all the way up in a three quarters of a turn or yeah i usually tighten it all the way up uh one quick way to tie it to, to put it tight is you put your uh, nut wrench on it and right. you just move the truck forward and you'll see it's going to go tight and then and then you just back off the truck maybe uh half half a wheel turn you just back off the truck and then and then you can check how it is uh but um it's usually about half a turn or three quarters of a turn. That's where I usually back it off for me. That's how I like it. <clears throat> hey, I, I was wondering, does that new differential that's out for the drag slash fit the, the stampede? Can it fit it? Yeah, it can no, fit it. Uh, uh, the two wheel drive. Yes, but not the four by four. Okay. Okay. Well, I think he has the two wheel drive. Didn't know if he had the four wheel drive. Uh, KBRC has the four by four. Okay. He's the stampede he's got. Uh, John Martin, why don't you show off that transmission? Tank, I apologize. My computer is freezing, so, but I understand what you're saying. Okay. So he actually ordered the new... Oh, look at that. He's opening it up. I thought you already had one open. I do, yes. but it's all apart. Oh, it's all apart. He has two of them. So he actually ordered two of them. One he's going to keep stock, and the other one... So it's actually not built? It's all in pieces? No, that's uh, extra uh, spur gears that they have for it. Okay. Oh, cool. Piece right here for the rear bumper, if you decide to add the bumper. So that's a direct fit on the two-wheel drive slash? Yes, it is. And, and I bet it would fit the... What is it, Brad? I bet it would fit the Rustler, too, the two-wheel drive Rustler. Right. It does fits all two-wheel drives. Yeah. Oh, it fits all two-wheel drives. So, oh, good. That'd be great for the Bandit. <laughs> cool. And it's even got a 90, it's even got the 90 tooth already installed in it. And it came with the 80, the 86, 83, and uh, 76. That's good. Looks cool. real nice. That does change the gear ratio, any? No, it's the same gear ratio. Same gear ratio. Everything is just a little bit tougher. Yeah, it's just tougher the, just the metal plate and yep. the dip, and it sits lower. And and the okay. upper gear. This is this is the one I have pulled apart. And like I said, you take out the four screws in the bottom, and you can actually take the diff right out of it. Okay. And the diff, you can change the oil in it and put thicker oil or whatever. Nice. Metal. Look at that. Yeah. Well, like I said, I had it. Got this one. Got this one all yeah. apart. So if you want to see an actual particular piece of it, so the 
I'm working on the bearings on it. So <clears throat> cool. that uh, that uh, it's it's beefed up and it's lower centered from oh, what yeah. you everybody told it. Oh yeah, nice metal gear. Yeah. Hey, Sean's RC yeah. Adventure. How are you what doing? Magnified's in there also. Thomas Donnie Jr. Brian Taff is there. Curtis Baker. Oh, yeah. Baker. Cool. So I'm just in the process, like I said, just pulling this one apart and getting her cleaned up the way I like it. So you're taking it apart. Wow. You're going to grease it up and put it back together and uh, put it on one of your trucks? Yep. On which one are you putting? Are you putting that on your dragster or the oval racer? Oval racers. Oval racers? Okay. I'm going to throw a bunch of power at it and see what happens. RC Mass Master says I'm here too. <laughs> yeah. You got to say hi to everybody. Say hi to RC Mass Master. He's got a sad face. I'm doing RC Mass Master. There you go. Hey, Spin Rush, you got to say hi. <clears throat> Make him feel good. He's He's got a very hey, bad, sad up, face. Man, it's terrible. Bill Biden, your your internet is really good today. Yeah, um, I discovered that my wife's phone uses like almost no um, no minutes? data. Okay, almost none. So it like lasts forever. So I'm riding her Wi-Fi. <laughs> I've got my phone running on the Wi-Fi <laughs> and the TV. <laughs> I don't think she would mind anyways. You are married. <laughs> hey, Brad, where's your video? Yeah, where's where's your video, Brad? Come on. Oh, now. I thought I thought I I thought I was on. Sorry. No, you're not. There you there go. You are. Ah! I can see you now. <laughs> where's, the, where's Brad? There's Brad. Uh, uh, what what's the occasion for you to be home? Uh so uh, reporting from Tokyo. This is Spin Rush RC. Uh, we are on the first day of the Tokyo Olympic Games. The opening ceremony is going to start uh, in a few hours. Um, I'm sure it's going to be kind of an abbreviated ceremony because of the pandemic. And uh, so what they did was Japan moved their public holidays. I was supposed to be off on Monday, but then everybody in the country, they shifted everything to Thursday and Friday. So we're all on a four-day weekend here, unless you're, of course, uh, you know, not if you're an essential worker, then of course you're still at work. But uh, you know, the country's off, and, <laughs> and so you are here in my home today. Welcome to uh, Casa de la Spinrush and, <laughs> and my little RC collection is up on shelves. I, I was like wondering how I was going to do it. I've got. Hey, you All got a walker up there and stuff, and and you got a walker. Star got a Wars walker? walker. Yeah. No, 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 no. This is, no, this the walker. Star Wars walker there on the shelf. Oh, you're talking about your Star Wars walker? I don't, I don't. Oh no, 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 no. Sorry, that kind. That's a you know an illusion. That that's actually two remotes. Oh, I thought so. Like a Star Wars <laughs> yeah, walker. it does look like an ad-ad <laughs> walker. <laughs> it does look like a walker. Yeah, in the background. <laughs> I, I should go get one now. I like I <laughs> walk You got the limited edition, the black limited edition. Yeah, you guys oh, yeah, lost. <laughs> yes. For the Olympics there, there's a lot of outbreaks that just started. Like uh, here in the news, we heard that it's up to 70 in just a couple of days. Yeah. You know, it, it's always best to hear it from the horse's mouth, you know, especially with all the info wars that have been going on online recently. Uh, and in media but uh the truth is is that uh no many many of us are not vaccinated whether you're an anti-vaxxer or not it doesn't matter which line you are this is just hard line truth yeah. uh we we were not ready in fact i just received my uh, voucher to go get the vaccination to actually to make an appointment for the vaccination about four or five days ago yeah, that's, that's what the 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 mayor or somebody uh, from China, uh, from where you are, they were saying that they're three months late getting people vaccinated. Yeah, and of course, you know, we're, Japan is not really considered a third world country. You know, we're we're supposed to be up there, you know, G eight, 
um, and like why they were so slow. And I think the truth is, is that basically, you know, you, you can quote me on this if you want, or maybe it's true. I still think it's speculative, but I believe the Japanese people feel that they phys their physiology is different. And so that they're going to have adverse reactions to the vaccine. And so actually, yeah, they haven't distributed it. And then they gave it to other countries. They said, they said, let's do something good. Let's help these other countries. So they gave their supply away. Cool. So we're going to start off with talking about Tamaya tonight. Uh, just, just, just because uh, <laughs> to make uh, Brad happy and uh, to get the subject off the table right off the start. So the first one I want to talk about is one that was actually brought out uh, a while back is this guy, the Porsche Turbo RS Type uh, 934. <clears throat> that's a Tomcheck. <clears throat> the what? The Valiant Edition, yes, that's that's coming back out. Yeah, the... but the, it's, it's supposed to be the white edition. But what I find interesting here, when they came out with this, and this was back in... Uh, 2018, when this was published, there was only 300 and uh, 333 available. I think I was reading here. Yeah, 333 pieces available. So that's not a lot. Like no. I don't think they're going to do the same thing with this guy. It's supposed to be the white edition. So this is the press release that was done. That's being talked about in the group. This one was just a couple days ago. And they're talking about the uh, 45th anniversary and the white edition. On the TAO2 uh, short wheelbase. Yes, TAO2 short wheelbase. But they, there's a lot of upgrade on this, though. Like the motor mounts, everything is going to come back the way uh, this guy was, which was upgraded uh, aluminum motor mount, uh, hard... Uh, Propeller shaft, it's a drive shaft. shaft. Uh, the uh, FRP chassis set, what the heck is that? It's fiber reinforced plastic. Okay. Mm. Cool. Somebody ball has diff. fragments. Mm. Yes. And the ball diff cup joints for the universal shafts. Well, that's that's good. That's interesting for this. Mm. So there's a lot of cool upgrades for this. Uh, I, I'm going to try very hard to get this one. Just nice. because it's a very hard car to get, first of all. Uh, every time it comes out, it's always in limited series. So I'm going to try to get my hobby shop to order one for me. And hopefully he'll keep it this time. Last time I ordered something, he sold it. Oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I wanted to stab him for that, that one. That's really good. <laughs> if you get one of those, I can't wait to see it. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice kit. I, I, I love all their Porsches. They do great Porsches. Is that the uh, one that everybody's been waiting for forever? The Porsche they wouldn't put back out? And now that, they is okay. that is correct. That is correct. Nice. They did came out with it. They re-released it only one time in 70, 78, I think. I've spoken, you know, in the first one was in the 70s. Yeah. And then in 2018, they did come out with some, but only 333 pieces. Yeah. And that's not a lot for the whole world. No. Like some people would buy four boxes and keep and just build one and keep the rest. So it doesn't say here how many boxes they're going to have of this guy. So don't know. Yeah, the other one was like a turquoise colored uh, car. They want the white one. They're putting out a, a white one. I, either you could do it either way, I assume. I don't know what color you plan on doing, Frank. You never usually do box art. It's very rare. No. Uh, for some Tamayas, do I do box art. This one, I probably will do box art. Mm -hmm. I might. And this is the other one that's coming out. Uh, I, I tried finding uh, pictures or stuff on the Tamaya thread but for some odd reason i couldn't uh this one is coming back out also this one is going to be in november yes That's and it's, go it's going to have different graphics on it yeah so it's going to look different than that different uh, graphics but the body and things like that's going to be the same what, what yeah uh yeah i i, I think I, I assume it's going to be a different color too because of the graphics so you i don't know if you uh, i mean i assume you're going to get one of these too because you oh you like it i have one Oh, you do? So you're going to get another one? Uh, <laughs> probably not. I'd rather get the Porsche than that one. Oh, uh, Then they have the new Tom Techs that are coming back out again, the little 116, 114 scale cars. That I don't care about. Oh, 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 that was handsome. Oh, that's, uh, that's the, new, the, Pinto. Uh, the new Pinto. The new Pinto. I saw that. 
Yeah. Where, where, where's the other thing that we're talking about here? And it's a no buggy thing. size body. It's not for short course. Uh, isn't that? Are these these things you're talking about, Brad? These no, no, I'm talking about a ready control one sixteenth, one fourteenth scale, and that is what I'm talking about. Yeah, that one is small. I, I yeah. seen the video here of the video of that man. That thing is tiny. One. Why well, should say one? No, that's that's not the Porsche. Wild ones one tenth. That's going to be a one fourteenth, one sixteenth scale car. The one with a four wheel independent suspension uh, grasshopper. Okay. It looked kind of neat, but no, that's not something I would get. No, I would. Uh, you would get the you would get the small Tom Tech. Yeah, just for the room. Just for the room. Yep. This is like very it. big in your area, right? In in Japan. Oh yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, actually, when you go to a lot of the hobby stores, uh, they'll have tracks in in inside. So. Even major appliance stores have these tracks downstairs in their hobby section. Uh, perhaps, you know, with the time that I have off, I should go visit one and just get some video. Uh, mm. show you these kids, the fathers and sons and mothers there, uh, all at those tracks. They love that. They're like the Ooh. derby cars, electronic derby cars for the most part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I've seen that. Some of them are super quick. You hear yeah. them just zipping around the track. It's like, whoa, that's this unbelievable speed. Mm -hmm. I've seen I've seen them run around uh, in water. They had tracks set up in the water, and they're going in and out of the water. A one forty eight scale German self propelled tank. That's crazy how small that is. Yeah, crazy. So Big Squid had a, has a lot of different stuff uh, out, and uh, we can actually go uh, pro line. We'll go pro line in a bit. Um, Geico, they're talking about that also. This is something we'll talk about tonight. Uh, talk about this one also. Uh, but I don't have, or yeah, I think I did find pictures of this somewhere. Kyosho, yeah, on the Kyosho website, uh, mm -hmm. Facebook. Uh, they're coming out with a, a new body, uh, basically a new paint job. They do have this car out in silver, I believe. Uh, yeah. But, but now it's yeah. going to come out with black with stripes like this. So very, to me, it looks better than the other one. And I disagree, but that, yeah. that, we're allowed to. <laughs> yeah, we're allowed to. I wish they wouldn't black out the windows, though. Yeah, it is tinted. It is a spray tint, but it's mm -hmm. not blacked out. You can still see yeah. it. But I, I just wish they'd stop these frigging body posts. Sweet looking yeah, body. That, yeah. <laughs> I think that day and age is coming to an end. <laughs> yes. Body posts and pens. Yeah, and you know, yeah. we've seen some companies that actually started getting rid of them, which is nice, or putting them mm -hmm. from underneath. Yeah, like what, like um, Red Cat. Yeah, Red Cat Axial. Um, some of the Traxxas. Who knows? New kits might uh, eventually all across the board one day, and all the companies are going to have magnets That's for the power wheel drive. I guess, right? Yes. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, because yeah. there's the yeah. It's a Fraser body. It's a long. It's a long wheelbase body. It's quick, even with that motor. I think it'll do thirty miles an hour with that motor. Yeah, it is pretty quick. The thing that gets me is the way they've got the wheels fastened. The screw goes from the outside in. You don't have an axle stub come through with a nut. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, know. It's kind of limiting. Yep. One another thing Frank wants to get. Probably not this one. I'm still. I still want to get the GTO. The GTO is is one I'd love to get. Oh, mm. with the champagne paint job. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mini Z Hellcat. Yep. Yeah, those are uh, really really hot. The Mini Z scene here. Just okay. so many options, so many different bodies. Is the Ultima coming back out again? So scale. So scale. Here's the Ultima. That's a winning buggy. That went, uh, that won the year it came out. Oh, yeah. Yep. There's your there's your GTO. Great talk one. about here. Yeah, that's a GTO. Ooh. And that phaser body. I hate that when they come out with a picture, but it's 
not bigger than the one they're actually showing. But it is a very nice champagne colored. Even Frank would have painted it that color if he could do it. <laughs> Kyosho's got a lot of street cars. Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. And it's the sure. same frame, right? It's just got that different. Same yeah, okay. Same, same chassis. chassis. Yeah. It's just like if I get this, I'm going to order the Dukes of Hazard uh, car body to actually paint it orange. And, mm-hmm. and like that, I just have to change the shell and I'll have multiple cars. Uh, off of one shell, off of one chassis. Yeah. Yep. That's is that a, in your video tank? Was that the guy that had, was that a Carol show in the Dukes of Hazard? He was. Yes. Home? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, the Mad Van. Yeah, yeah, I've seen a lot of videos on that car recently. Yeah, especially the brushless edition. It's been doing real good, so it's good on them. Yeah, they just had a little trouble with the body, especially the rear lights uh, mm-hmm. in the back. The guys sort that out, but, you know, no biggie. And we have this guy yeah. from Red oh, the- So this is the new Red Cat. Um, you see it. I popped up a new window. I hate that when they do that. So this, to me, uh, you guys were saying um, that <clears throat> design was saying that it is the uh, which, which which brand Windigo Windigo off the Windigo frame, but I think this is the Gen Eight. To be truthful. To me, the way these tower frames are, the way the channel rails are, the way the battery is sitting, everything to me is Gen 8, except it's got the wide axle. Mm-hmm. Uh, the tower the tower for the shocks, everything is the same as the Gen 8. It actually has the true Hobby Wing branded ESC. It's not a real. <clears throat> and they left the guy like a ghost. Oh, yeah. Ghost head. The Hobby Wing here, yeah. I think it's mm. supposed to have a Holmes Hobby motor in it, too. Yep. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it is there. a Holmes Hobby. So it it's not bad, but what I don't like about it is the axle. That it, it, To me, it's a little too wide. Well, too wide for the type of tracks I'm going to run it on. Um, and the, like the Wraith and all that, we can't run them on our track anymore because – we don't have any challenges for them or it won't fit on some challenges unless we change our, our, our course. Yeah. And that's what that's more geared to go against is the rate and all. Yes. So uh, that Windigo, it looks more like it's a rock crawler now than the, when, what, what the Windigo is. I mean, it looks more like crawling. That is correct. It probably more crawling than what the Windigo. Windigo is a little bit faster. It's more of a rock racer. Yeah. Uh, that's the actual brush. brushed. Yeah. This is brushed. Yeah. I assume those axles can take a lot of punishment the, the way they are. They should. I think the window go, at least the kit comes with a, like a beef tube that sticks inside the axle. Oh yeah. Yeah. This one, there's no mention of that. If it does come with it. Okay. I Only think, thing- I, <clears throat> I think they're, I think companies are wanting to do some one eighth scale crawling now, but they, that might be starting to get popular. Mm. I don't really <clears throat> like the plastic driver. Like you put your own driver in it. That's true. He looks like a ghost. They should paint his face. Yeah, I was wondering. It's like, <laughs> what is it? is it? Is it? Was that intentional? So we could just like <clears throat> and choose. Yes. Yeah, was wasn't sure about that. C eight chassis. I got to look at the engine. <laughs> the width of it. It made it a one eight scale. Hmm. So Hobby Wing, Holmes Hobby. It's a 1080, which is nice. It's a 550 size motor too. Yeah, yeah that's a big motor. 25 turn, 25 uh, uh, kilogram uh, servo. It doesn't take. It doesn't say anything about the inside of it being like the beefy tubes. Okay. Integrated thrust. Uh, integrated heavy duty double shear mounting point. It it doesn't have uh, the uh, the portal axles. No, the, the Windigo axles. Yeah, it looks like it had high clearance links too on it. 
metal now, frame rails. Underneath it is Windigo, and the chassis is the Gen 8. So it's still classified <laughs> the 10th scale. Okay. Metal shocks. Oh, yeah, there they are. But to me, this is where the guy that made the graphic and the guy that made the line failed. Because when you look at this line at 47 degree, it is it is not matching this line here. Because if you actually go with this line, oh, it is, it's not. So kind of that's a big fail for me. Yeah, it's a total fail there. But the width is nice and a little wide. Um, but to me, it's too wide of a truck for me. So... It's nice. What, what was the width? 256 millimeter? Yeah, 296. 296. Yeah, those are Wendigo axle. <clears throat> yeah, three. Yeah, the chassis for the Wendigo looks the same as that one. I just brought it up on my phone. So okay. it, it, It's 365 millimeter uh, wheelbase. The full length is 577. <laughs> I think they had a bunch of stuff left and they decided to make a one eight scale Jeep body to fit it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then we have this yeah, guy, the new guy that everybody's talking about today. Uh, SCX 10 X. Isn't that a Bronco body or supposed oh, to be? Man. Yes. Now, which one do you guys want to look at? The turquoise or white? The white. The white turquoise. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will show both. <laughs> The one with black wheels. Oh, wait. There's hey, a... uh... hey, we lost it. <laughs> no, I know we lost it because I, I, I want to check with the panel here or with the people. Let's let's make a vote which pictures they want to look at. The turquoise or um, like in the chat, you start writing <laughs> white or turquoise. Uh, white or blue, make it easier to spell blue than white or turquoise. Um, see the white. John, which one would you like to see? Coin flip. Don't matter. Undecided. Doesn't matter to me either. Doesn't matter. Tur turquoise for me. AZ Boy. Foggy. White shows easier. Uh, <laughs> Spin Rush said white. Spin <laughs> Rush said white also. <laughs> KBRC. White. Brad. I could I'm like John. I, I don't I, I could take it or leave it. Okay. Three whites, one one blue. Uh trail crawler. White. Oh, four white. I guess we want to see the white. Uh, Bill's not there. The Green frog. The Turquoise. Turquoise. Well, I guess. Oh, I got uh, lots of white. Well, I'm here, but I agree five. with Frank. Turquoise. Yeah, five whites in the chat. <laughs> so, which one gets shown first is what it comes down to. <laughs> okay. So, let's go look at the white. <clears throat> here we go. Yes, no driver. Can't zoom that in. It's got a bar. Uh, it's got roll bars and frame rails and everything. Yeah, and this yes. door actually opens. Yeah, the oh. door is open. It's got a full depth interior in it now. They look like metal, but they're not. But the, the right. rails are very nice. Oh. I like the way they've made it. And they're actual bead locks. You can take them apart. Yeah, oh, no. and uh, it does come with the DX3 from Spectrum. Uh, we are not going to show the video. You guys can go see the video if you want to see the video, but I'm not going to show it here, so we won't get in trouble. But here's the... Uh, not, it's They've done a good job, uh, and they've done a good job in the sense that the seats are a little high on the frame here, and that's done on purpose to, so to clear all the guts and the stuff inside. So, Is it, so it's a six... Go ahead. I'm sorry. It's it's a uh, it's a SCX uh, ten three. Yes, it is an SCX ten three, but with regular axles. Okay. Awesome. So the, oh, okay. the interior is nice. Detail here. <coughs> yeah, and they had fun the, with the um, if you actually uh, on Facebook <coughs> one of the, uh, on Axial Fest, they did a quick live video today, and they they were saying they made the the pedals to look like retro uh, pedals, like a foot pedal. I got a yeah. foot pedal in my car. Yep, you got the three pedal system in there. Yeah, I can see a foot pedal now. Yeah. Look at all the shifters. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got a high, low, four by four. Uh, and a regular shifters. shifter. That's a very nice dashboard. Yep. 
Well, hopefully a full figure is going to fit in here. I don't know if it will because I don't know if it's going to be deep enough, but hopefully it does. If not, it's a Look at, did you notice on the passenger side it had a little uh, a thing at the bottom to hold your feet? The floor mat? No, the, the metal piece in front of it. No, that's just the glare from the. That's a glare. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, 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 thought, I thought it was a foot rust. <laughs> And my one of my pastors actually has a real Bronco like this. So <laughs> here is actually really close to what his is. Um, he's got some door, the tube doors like that. His cage is very similar to that as well. So. Uh, uh, Kevin it, Gibbs says the interior is well done. Yeah. Uh, I think he meant done, but he said dine. It's uh, so me, Kevin. Is it yeah. is it is it cheaper than the one with the uh with, the, with the board box? Five seventy nine nine nine. Sorry, Brad. So so it's more. Yeah, it is more. The tracks. Does does it have two speed and a dig and all that stuff? Yes, it has yes. Dig. All that stuff. It has. Dig. <clears throat> it, it comes with the two speed, but you cannot use the two speed with the current radio. It comes with because it's and, only and, a three channel. Brad, I wasn't finished talking. Just relax. Okay, go ahead, Brad. The the scoop on it makes you think at the when they made it the it, the real one would have had a nice bigger engine in it with the scoop. True, but it does have a nice big engine uh, on it. They I think they said it's like a five fifty, but uh, axial five fifty, not a real one because it's there's some modification they've done to make it fit. You'll see, and also this license plate comes off, and you can actually put a fairly a Faraday lead on it, so you can have a winch inside. Three. Oh, okay. I like the tires. Got a lot of sipes on them. Yes, the icon <laughs> tires are very nice. Uh, icon truck, but not the icon tires. But these tires are very nice. The Falcon tires, I believe. Uh, the wheels look come, good too. Yeah, it does come with the uh, Smart Firma ESC. Now Never that's heard of them. the downfall for me right there is a two in one. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's a two in one, huh? Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah, was... <clears throat> but some people have been having some good success with it, and and since it's only a four channel, that's all you need for this truck. Unless you're going to start putting options, like if you do want your winch, if you do want your other thing, then you got to start putting a different receiver. Yeah, and then you have to change the ESC. But I just prefer to have each one separate in case something goes wrong with one. You don't have to buy both at the same time. Mm -hmm. This is the first for them, I think, for Axial. I don't think another kit ever came ready to run with LEDs. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the uh, Honcho has yeah, the old Honcho. Lights. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, the CRC had them. It was just that small little kit. Just had the headlights and taillights with that little yeah. control board that the wire would always come off of. <clears throat> and uh, is it's I'm sure it's waterproof. Water resistant. Yeah, this is water resistant. Uh, well, they say uh, waterproof here with a uh, yeah. star. <laughs> Means it might survive some humidity, but I don't know if it's gonna survive the stream. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah I'll talk to John about that. <laughs> I know nothing of it. <laughs> No, so, when you, with your other one, you're just the extent. So, to, like I said, Brian, I, think, I know nothing of that. <laughs> so, I think it does have LEDs, but it, I don't think the blinkers actually work. I, I think it's just turns no, on, stays they're on. Just, they're on. Static. Yeah. Okay. And there's the turquoise one. Yep. The white just it looks a lot cleaner, it shows the lines better. Yeah, my opinion. There's no background there, or with the background there. They say blue green. I don't know. I think the turquoise would look better on video. Don't know. I'm just talking about their pictures, the way they have it. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh, there's the motor. It sits nice and high, so if ever you cut the hood, uh, it's going to show up. And they did modify the mortar, so it does. It's not half a mortar anymore. So. It, it's a full, a full motor in the front. They see the engine. The engine looks okay. like a That's retro a mod engine. Tray. A retro mod engine in there. That's a modern engine. Yeah. So transmission is scale and then <clears> the <throat> in the front. So it looks good. 
they also have this, the battery, long battery tray here, or a shorty pack here, depending what you want to run, a shorty pack or a Options. Long Options, yeah. that's good. Uh, here's the, uh, they call that the uh, 44 axle, I think, AR44. Where's that name? Uh, look at the look at the tubes. Uh, AR45, straight axle. Well, it's actually bigger than I think. Those are those look pretty beefy. Those uh, steering area. Yeah. <laughs> so with the truss, it's going to make it nice and stronger, which is nice. Um, and uh, yeah, like links are nice and and big. I wonder why there's holes in the middle of them. For adjusting. For adjusting <laughs> when you're putting them together. Oh, okay. You okay. Put a pin in there, and it's easier it's to hold it. this when you're screwing this. Yeah. <clears throat> And it, it looks like they added more material to the truss setups on them than they did on the old axles. Yeah, it does. Yes. Yeah, and it's prettier. It's nice and shiny. <laughs> <clears throat> and on the other one, the people were breaking the th uh, the third link here, the Panhard bar. They were breaking uh, on top here, and what they've done now is it's actually metal. This link axle that goes on top, and which I don't think we saw a picture of it. Uh, yet it, you see it a little bit here but this piece here right. is actually in metal before it used to be in plastic and people snap this off mm. it, it, it looks like plastic but you think it's metal now huh it, no I don't think it's metal I know it's metal <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> that's going to that's gonna sell <clears throat> like crazy over the other the, the, the portal axles because people want those axles again yeah. <laughs> hold on <clears throat> Locks. Nice. <clears throat> so um, it does have the three-piece B lock wheel and the Falcon 1.9 wheels, which are which are not bad. They're not giant wheels. They're 4.7. So it's 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 a nice and plus I like I like it's a 1.5 width. So it's not a fat tire, which is nice. I, it'll, I think it's going to get traction on a lot of different surfaces, water, snow. Yeah, but <clears> just like <throat> any tires or any truck, uh, people have their favorite tire. And a lot of people ask me, what's your favorite type of tire? Well, for me, it's different because I run on a lot of sand. I do run some rocks, but the temperature is different in my area than yours. So my tire is going to perform differently than your tire. So it, it's hard to say what's going to run good in your area. Do you think those will be decent in the sand? Yeah, they should. They should clean up pretty good. So here's the motor. 5.0. Yeah, it's a Mustang GT engine. <laughs> 5.0. See, it says it's a 5.0 axial logo here. So it's a 5.0 axial. <laughs> but it looks like the it looks like the Coyote engine. But as as usual, they like cover it hey, up. Sean. With, yeah, they cover it up with a shell. So they go to the bother of giving it a detailed motor and then cover it up, like, which is crazy. What, what what do you think of this uh this uh chassis, Sean? It's nice. Mm -hmm. but I told everyone for the last three oh, weeks. Oh, there's where the body clips are. I told ah. everyone for the last three weeks. It was an old school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think you might get one? No, because it's Laxan. So. Uh huh. <laughs> now what you said earlier. Yeah, I know, but then I was looking more at it, and I just don't like the Laxan. So, so hidden body clip and this <clears throat> metal. This is for the Panhard. It's metal now. Thirty-five. Who knows? Over. Who knows, Sean? You could probably get an ABS. You could probably get an ABS or hard plastic body for it. What servos that tank? Uh, it doesn't say, but it probably says it here. It's probably just a cheap Spectrum that they put in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Spectrum. Oh my that. goodness! Look at the gear from that thing. Two yeah. speed. Yeah. Because you got a dig included and a two speed, but it requires a micro server, not yeah, included. Yeah, well, you had to up the remote again. You had to get yeah. the work channel. So you yeah. don't have to rip both. So transmission looks nice and scale, but then when you put that other tran tra motor on top of it, it it does look okay. It does look okay, like you see it here. Yeah. So it has a three speed. Scale. It's not as three. scale as. Um, uh, other guys what like gcm is doing and all the other guys so uh they have a three Could shaft a system chrome on it they have what brad three shaft system what three drive mean? shaft system 
one goes to the transmission. You know how no. they set it up? No. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't have three shafts on it? No, this one, it, the transfer case is integrated into transmission. So you see one dry shaft here and one dry shaft here. Because I've seen, I've seen, I've seen them with three shafts. In these cars. Yes, but this one is only two dry shaft. Does not have three dry okay. shafts. Okay. What it was it you were saying, uh, KB? Oh, the motor could have used a little bit of chrome. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to paint them. Yeah. yeah, I would probably just put some chrome markers and just paint that up a yep. little bit. Right there. Yeah. Uh, it does talk about what is dig and and i was watching a video today on a guy and he says oh it's really cool like dig is fun the, the first one they had is the capra and they're thinking i go no the wraith was like hello but the guy was young so <laughs> uh, metal motor mount which is nice with different uh spots to change your opinion lots of different ones it looks like you could go up to over 20 not sure. I think it comes with a 14 pitch pin. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 14 tooth. 14 tooth, yeah. Uh, pitch. That's probably uh, not sure of the pitch on this. That transmission looks so realistic the way it, you would see inside one. Yeah. Yeah. But the video I heard did not, didn't seem like it was clicking. So maybe they got rid of the clicking or they changed something. I don't know. I looked at a couple of videos today and I didn't see um, um, uh, the clicking on it. So Yeah, but they probably added it that part. I was clicking. I yeah, maybe. Did you see the bevel gear? It looks like it would cut your finger. Hmm. <laughs> that looks like a, a Coke, a Coke uh, uh, bottle cap, but it looks like it would uh. cut your finger. It looks like it would <laughs> cut your finger. Scroll back down, Tank. Uh, excuse me. Scroll that back down to the gears. That's actually not bad, Brasco. I like that. It's got all them screws in there instead of just three. Yeah, but look how sharp they look. I mean, the sense that you, they would cut your finger. I, I, ripped, I blew them out the other day on mine. All them, all them three screws just broke right off. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. Not the only thing, Brad, yes, it would cut your fingers, but this is within the dry, the axle, and you're supposed to put your fingers in there. <laughs> I'm just yeah. saying, it looks like they look like little dagger teeth. I mean, that's what they look like to me. <laughs> it's just like, ooh, shiny light. Let's go towards it. <laughs> Smack. Uh, aluminum coilover shocks. So, I wonder if they leak. And the stainless steel pivot ball end, which is nice. It's about time they start doing stainless steel instead of these friggin' plastic ones. <clears throat> no, that the the thing it sits in looks like it's metal too. <clears throat> plastic. Oh, it looks metal to me. I don't know why. And you have the DX3, which is a three channel. I can't oh, wait to. I guess that's the for your thumb, channel. right? That's for your thumb. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, here for your thumb. Yeah. But uh, it, it's going to be nice when they make a four channel of this one. Like yeah. that, you don't have to change the radio, especially for the new people. You can download high res image. Yay. Yeah, big head RC. A lot of people are actually going back to the three gear SEX 10 2. <clears throat> yeah. And their SEX 10 2. Oh, gee, I like that transmission. <laughs> Hey, Sean, I bet you could still find a hard body to fit it, though, the chassis. Yeah, but then, I could, just make it, then I could just make it fit any 10. Uh, what is it, 12. a 12.3? Yeah. 12.3? Yeah. So yeah. I could just find any any chassis then to fit it. So. Uh, Lane, Lane is asking which Wraith had, had it. In other words, dig. Uh, all the Wraith could do it. It's just uh, the Wraith transmission you have to buy a new uh, transmission case which included the, um, the the dig function into it and what people didn't know is that all the gears of the SEX10 is exactly the same thing as the Wraith so me I got a Wraith transmission in my SEX10 with dig so it actually fit up you flip everything ba uh, backward kind of and I got a great transmission in my SEX10, the first version. 
And uh, I have dig in there and I've been using this for years on mine <clears throat> um, because people say, well, it's, it's, it's not legal. You can't use it in a competition. I've had this rig now for seven or eight years. I never went to a competition that said you can't use it. Like, yeah, it depends on the competitions. Like yeah. a lot of them down here, where a lot of the prima donnas in it, yeah. they don't let you in it. Like, so. Yeah, and and if they don't let you use the dig, it's fine. I won't use it. That's yeah. all. Like some of the prima donnas though here won't even let you run your regular has a yeah. dig. Yeah. <laughs> and you say I won't use it. I won't let you run. Mm -hmm. So how, how many of you are world welcome in? How many of you would actually buy this new uh, SCX 10.3? Uh, I probably that? would for the simple reason it does not have – I did not like the SEX-10 III because of the portal axles. But uh, now it doesn't have it. Now yeah, it doesn't it have it. it. So there's a lot of different options on this truck that I really like. And I have an SEX-10, but it's the original version. So I did not upgrade to version 2 yet, and I didn't bother getting the version 3 because of the portal axle. It just turned me off. Um, but now that that one, it's 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 – Peaking my curiosity, but I got too too uh, too many other projects I want to finish off before buying that truck. Yeah, like a CCO two. Yeah, if it had been a hard body, I would have bought it straight away. Mm -hmm. But it's another Lexan body. Hey, Bucks so, you well, good. It had to come with a hard body for Sean to buy it. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just trying to get rid. I've only two Lexan bodies left, and look, as I say, but I don't build shelf rooms. Yes. <laughs> Dude, that's what I like. I just yeah. like the body. I, got shelf I don't queen. like I, 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 I don't like shelf queens. I use I use everything. It may take me a while to rotate to get into running them again, but they get run. I'm not they're gonna be running. I don't care if they're a toy or not. They're running. So, so spin rush, you have shelf queen behind you? Uh no so, really. I take it off the shelf. Pretty much take it operational. Off. It just depends on the weather, you know, whether which rig I'm gonna take out. But uh take it off the shelf and I'll spot like you. Show us what you got. <laughs> what <do> you guys <laughs> Come anyway? on, I'm putting you on the spot now. I just spotted you. Okay, okay. Actually, uh, you know, what might be a shelf queen is a new project that I've been working on. Uh I just uh you guys ready for a debut? Yes. Go for yeah, it. sure. Okay. All right. I'm going to debut right here, right now on this stream. Uh, I just finished it. I'm about 98% finished. And this is my newest baby right here. I just got it wrapped up. I finished uh, just doing the electronics in here and everything. Uh, last night, I still got to do some Velcro on here. But uh, yeah, this is the newest baby. And uh, of course, a B6.3. Let me flip this over. You guys, look at it. And yeah, I've been pretty busy with this thing. And uh, this should be on the carpet and running uh, by Friday next week. Cool. Yeah, so that's, that's <clears throat> the newest thing. And what else? Uh, behind me, you'll see this one has become a bit of a shelf queen because. This one is discontinued, uh, this low C here. And uh, it broke a couple times out of the box and I had to replace a few parts on it. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much discontinued. And so I don't really run this one anymore because I know once it breaks, it's gonna be really hard for me to get parts for it. Oh, what else we got? Uh, what do you guys wanna look at up on there? <laughs> Yeah, you got two more. It looks like you have four cars, right? Yeah, I've got the DB Pros sitting up there, and then I've got the uh, Mini Bs. You have five cars. I see one way up top. Actually, there's there's six here, seven, it's and then eight. It's about eight. But uh, this, of course, is a Mini B. I already put this one together. Put a lot of work into this one. A uh, guy named Paul Barsamian Bar Bar helped me with a lot of 3D carbon parts that are on here. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see with the video there, but cool. uh, this is all brushless converted. And uh, I think uh, Tony from CCRC likes these cars as well, and also these DB Pros up here. But yeah, as far as shelf screens go, no, nah, I don't really. If I have a car, I'm going to run it. Oh, you have one. Yeah. <laughs> you have the white one. Uh, it's a yeah. mini eight. Of course, I got a mini eight. I got the original one also. I have the original mini eight, which is a much shorter wheelbase. Uh, 
Yeah, I gotta take. I watch out for this little guy. I mean, uh, he snapped a couple times here, and a couple of axles I had to replace up in the front here. But uh, but I know yeah. that uh, there's a Chinese company that they make almost the same kind, and I know the parts are interchangeable. I just can't remember the model of it. That it, it actually it's almost a Chinese knockoff of this guy. Yeah. Well, I guess you'll have to look off for the knockoff to find the parts to replace it in case eventually. Yeah. Again, it's it was that's a beautiful model. And again, it looks just like the DB Pro. I yeah. mean, yeah, so I really like that one. Cool. Well, how about you guys? What, what shelf queens? <laughs> We're still talking about <laughs> shelf queens. <laughs> I have no shelf queens. I'm shelf in the process queen of trying hair. to get two cars painted. And uh, Bill, since we got you here, why don't you show off your uh, windshield wipers that you were working on? Those things look pretty tiny and kind of cool. Oh, that, that didn't work out so well. It, it turned out that I had uh, folded them backwards. So uh, when I went to put them on the truck, the, uh, the angle on the end of it was pointing the wrong way. Okay. And... Uh, so I decided to take one apart and I tried to rebend it back the other way and it broke it. And it broke. Oh, yeah. that's, no. that's too yeah. bad. Yeah. I, I yeah. saw on Instagram a couple of pictures that you posted. It, it looked kind of interesting. Who makes those? Unknown. Unknown. Uh, there's no brand on them. Uh, Where'd you find them? Really cool. I just wish they had some, some directions with them on eBay. On eBay. Cool. I think you can get them from Club Five Racing as well. Oh yeah, the metal ones, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Oh, like I, a new. I know they have the kit that actually works. They with yeah. the little motor that you can actually make them work. Uh, mind you, I've never seen anybody with it on their trucks or on their car. But it's I think they made pretty, it for. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I think they made it for the drifters, uh, more yeah, or less. I've, I've seen that one, but I haven't seen it for sale anywhere. Okay. Um, go to uh, rcworld.com. RCworld RCworld they have it for $33. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Magnified is asking, what happens if you don't have a shelf? Does it become a floor queen? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mobile dust bunny. Uh, a mobile dust, dust bunny. A mobile dust bunny, that's what he said. Did you get a new did you get a new gold rig, AC Bobby's? Huh? Did you get a new Tamaya truck up there or an old race truck? I've got the Euro truck racer up there, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, always had that gold one, have you? I've had it I've had that for about a month now. Yeah, the first I noticed it. It looks oh, like I Kagan is working on a TRX four. Yeah. Yeah. I had it pulled apart for a little bit. I just got the spur gear in it. I actually took it last Saturday to the races and made some test laps with it. It ran real good. Um, but I made five laps with my slash and the motor smoke. Yeah. Or the ESP smoke. I got warranty handled. I got half my money back since the motor's still good. Uh, RC Mass Master did put a link in the chat, uh, something about a contest. I think that's uh, the Earl Moorhead's contest. With. Yeah, to win an Arma Limitless or something like that. Yeah, that's Earl Moorhead's. So if you guys want to go check that out, uh, you can, but after my live video. So just yeah. save that bookmark for now. Don't leave here. Uh, especially, you got to give a thumbs up before. Cool. So, TJ, when are you gonna uh, you gonna you race uh, a lot, or you run sometimes just run to run them? Uh, no, Brad, this is uh, that one the B six three that I showed you. Yeah, that is my very first one ten buggy build in my life. Oh, this is okay. like the ultimate debut. Uh, <laughs> again, you know. If young people are out there watching, I mean, I think I pretty much took the same route as anybody else uh, who was a little bit or didn't have much confidence about building cars. Uh, I started with some RTRs. You know, most of the stuff back here is RTR. And then slowly but surely, I started 
modifying and doing upgrades. But uh, yeah, uh, Tony, who you met a few weeks back, you know, kept pushing me and said, hey, you know, it's time for you to start building. You've already got a year in. And so, and again, there's, when it comes to this hobby, it's like how much you have to invest I mean, it's not just a car, it's the toolkits, it's the, the yeah. products, the backups. So you, you really have to go all in. And I, at this point, I'm all in. So yeah, okay. Did you find it hard to build that? Uh, you know what? <laughs> a lot of guys, I always see this comment in Facebook groups and online. It's like building it and I had so much fun building it. And I'm going to tell the truth. I, 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 I cuss a lot. And I cuss at <laughs> inanimate things. And, and and while building this car, I, you know, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> oh, one of the screw turn, beep. You know, so. <laughs> but I am happy at the end of the day. But yeah. Yeah, because you builds are builds are works. I, like building them is all the fun of it. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. supposed to be the fun part. Build. Some parts were fun. Yeah. And, and, and you and you get and you get to know the car. And eventually you get to know it so well that you don't even need directions to look to fix it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like me personally, uh, I only have one RTR. I, I had two problems that happened with my, my Arma, and I have another one that I'm in the process of fixing on it. But uh, the, I lost a pin when I was driving it one the other day, and I had one of these broken off little screwdrivers, real tiny ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, and I cut it to fit the pin, to make a pin, and it worked. So that's yeah. the type of thought process you get into when you yeah. build things. You 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 get that uh, out of the box thinking, yeah, and, and, yeah. and it worked works perfectly fine. I cut it I cut it with my Dremel tool and it, it, and it fits the pin just perfectly. It fits the hub too. So a question here from myself, my kids, and the van, which I believe is locally or not too far from me. He says, "Hey Frank, nice video on the walk in the park. Uh, when are you going to do a night crawl?" Pretty soon. Ottawa. Ottawa. Uh, yeah, we're going to do a downtown Ottawa uh, walk with the RCs, and then I'll do a downtown Ottawa night walk with the RCs. And at Holly's, I'm going to do another uh, event. And talking about events, I do have one coming this Sunday on the 25th, and I called it a No Hands of God event. <laughs> uh, But basically, I do these events for the beginners, and there's a lot of beginners that comes here um, uh, this year, like last year. There's a lot of new people, and basically, it's it's you go on the trail with your truck, but you cannot touch it with your hands. In other words, you can't flip it back over. You can touch it and hook up a car, a, a cord, and then flip your car over with a winch or with the help of a buddy. Or if a buddy pushes you over, that works too. Uh, but this is very interesting. Here we were. COVID uh, restriction couldn't be more than 10 people for a while then it went up to 25 and when I opened this up I sold off all 25 spot within two and a half hours of posting oh. this post I, I sold off I, they were all sold off but now it's open to 100 people and right now I am up to what numbers you think I'm up to 120 there's 27 oh I there's 32 40. ah these people paid up already too Yeah, some of them are paid up. There's 12 or 13. So I'm up to 42 people right now signed up to come to this event. This is just crazy and amazing. This is going to be the biggest event, even bigger than when I had my trails in the back. Paid 70 bucks, huh? What? It says paid 70. 20. Or, 20 oh, 20. 20. Yeah, sorry. It, the, the event is $20 to actually okay. come to the event. And I give prizes, cash prizes back. Uh, um to uh to the people so i do have a lot of different stuff uh for people uh i've actually this is what we're gonna have for lunch so i um oh that looks good too. well was, uh, pulled pork sandwiches yeah pulled pork and um coleslaw. sour kraut coleslaw yeah. okay so, i wouldn't be able to eat at your place then does that come, <laughs> does that come, <laughs> does that come with stuff. your 20 dollar entry fee no or? no no the the food is extra 10 bucks. Gotta pay extra for the food, but 10 bucks. <laughs> like, how much did you pay for Axial Fest? Like for on. a whole three day pass. Yeah. No, I actually paid nothing to, to okay. honestly, because I actually got free pass for the weekend. 
but uh, y usually we, we, we take uh, for the $20, uh, we keep $10 for the park, and then the other $10, we split it for prizes and things like that, door prizes and whatnot. Oh, I, I, uh, I, I think I sent you a video, Frank, of that the people are, uh, in the United States are starting to do this. The, uh, I think they did, I did a video, I showed you a video of a guy, of a bunch of people doing uh, rally racing. Okay. Yeah, there's that's getting big that, also. And if somebody fun? wants to if somebody wants to read just a sec. If somebody wants tow rope, they can actually buy some here because some people are new in the industry and they don't have tow rope, so they there's a guy that mm -hmm. is selling them. So what is it you want to say? Oh no, I was just gonna ask Brad and within the three hundred emails he sends you a day, does he actually put any of them as urgent or capital? Watch this one. No. Right there. Are they all just 300 blanket skit emails? Well, that's nice. Yeah, he made his own skit plate to hide the transmission, the transfer case, which is nice. Nice. That's a... It's a TF2. It's a TF2 with the uh, transmission, this type of transmission. Is that yeah. a metal transmission? Yeah, it's yes. a, a scale transmission. That's a nice transmission. I mean, it's expensive. Job. Yes, it is more expensive. Yeah, so, that's the TCI transmission, R4. Uh, that's a both of my TF2 cars. So Travis has a, a mini eight just like mine. He goes, "Are mini our uh, mini bashers welcome at the event?" I said, "Yes, bring him on." So <laughs> he's going to be bringing his uh, mini it's eight too, also. Too bad TJ can't join you. <laughs> so here's I I made the um, this is uh, I made the the score book the score sheet. Okay, so that's what I made. Oh, I don't have my audio shared. Hold on, I'll reshare it again with audio. Just because hey, I can. Hey, Frank, uh, is 110 Hobbies supplying the winnable kits? Uh, they're supplying gift cards. So I got oh. gift cards for everybody for door prizes and things like that. Did you draw that crawler in the mud tank? Uh, and I found the I found the logo, the truck, yeah. but I, I did the lettering and put it uh, all together. That's cool. There we go. The score sheet is done for the event of No Hands of God on July 25th. Cool. So this is how the score sheet's going to work. Put your name, uh, Hands of God, uh, means touch touching the truck. truck. If you touch it to put it back on, something wheel, on its wheel. Uh, helping someone. This is when you help someone, you put a, a check mark there. And when you hit a flag or flag or skip a section, this is where you mark it again. Again, you do five little uh, four check mark and then a line across. Each box costs for five points. And bonus gates, if we have any, this is where you mark it. It's that simple. Cool. <laughs> and then I made this logo also for all these RC part. I'm going to make this one smaller. And actually change the inside for a number, and that's going to go in your trucks for events. That's a nice that, that that pam that pamphlet looks like it's uh, for golf golfing. <laughs> almost, <laughs> almost. Cool. Yeah, it's a pretty cool. But it's. Uh... Are they still going to open the borders in August? Or uh, borders are closed right now. Yeah, they're saying they're opening them in August, though, but I don't know. Uh, yes, the uh, U.S. is going to open them in August. Uh, you can't fly in, but you cannot yeah. uh, drive in. Yeah, but I don't know. The way the U.S. is going at the minute, they might close the border. Again. So this is a plaque I made uh, for uh, whoever is going to help the... So I wonder next weekend who's going to be the heavy hitcher. Heavy hitcher is whoever helps the most people in trouble. How we're gonna decide this? That's a surprise. So I made this little plaque, so with a tow truck on top to determine uh, the person that's gonna help uh, whoever whoever helped the most. In other words, yeah, that's cool, man. <laughs> um, so here's the three plaques I made. I got a video of that also. That's for first place, second place, and third place uh, with $250 worth of uh, gift certificate that we're going to give out. Oh, someone's going to buy a kit with that. Nice. <laughs> uh, we did get a little toilet for the ladies because they can't go behind a tree. 
and, and that's going to go in a little tent, a little uh, uh, tent specially so made who, for for that. Who's going to who's going to dump it? <laughs> well, I Sorry, guess the heavy hitter. Have to. Yeah, the heavy hitter. <laughs> so here's the <laughs> of the plaques. First place. Are you running Second. a port tannery? And third place plaque. Ooh, I want third and place. Everybody's saying that. Who's going to win it? The third place is the best looking car or something? Yeah, well, I mean, I like the color wheels that, that I saw there. I, just, wow. <laughs> I want yeah, third everybody place. was saying that they want third place. So, uh, and that's about it for the pictures. But it should be an interesting event. Uh, I'm the one that's that's planning it. I'm the one that's putting it together. Uh, I got Greg that's uh, taking care of the uh, trails over there. And I once when I can, I go help him on the trails. Uh, we've opened up Sims 2, which is the trail side. Uh, he's been doing a lot of work today. He's been doing a lot of weed, 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 uh, weed, weed eating. So, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Frank, could you, could you give um, Magnafeed uh, a rants for a minute just to let him um, put the link to his form in the chat? Yeah, I can. Hold on. Uh, there, Magnified, you can uh, yeah. share something if you want. Yeah, let him drop the link for his form or join yeah. us. Uh, so, uh, so Sean, once the border opens, you're going to go to the alleys? <laughs> well, I plan on a trip up there. The borders stay open, definitely. Take a trip yeah. to Canada. And ho hopefully once you cross, you will be allowed to go back because we don't know, that's to be thing. stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't swim, so I'm snooker. It's not like I can swim across. <laughs> well, you're from an island, so you should know how to swim. <laughs> no, there, there's probably... 80% of the Irish people that don't know how to swim. That's, that's, <laughs> there's, uh, but you're not one of them. <laughs> there's a lot of nice yeah, mud holes. There's a creek behind at Holly's. There's a creek that you can almost run from one end to the other. And it, it's a fun creek to actually run. Uh, you, you can go deep and lose your truck or stay on the edge and, and just keep uh, like a body height. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's a very nice creek to have fun in. Uh, uh, what about uh, having a bridge that crosses it too? Get the option. Yep. Oh yeah, we have different bridges to cross. Yes, um, some spots there's bridge to cross. Everybody's crossing their bridge, and I'm following them. And I go, "Oh, you guys are taking the easy way." And I go right beside them, bloop, right in the water, and then I go across, come off the other side. But some people go, "Oh, cool!" So they go around. They go take their bridge back and take the same way I took. Just for this, the heck of it, because you know what, you, you should give extra points for that. <laughs> we, we are, and they're going to be called bonus gates. Bonus gates, okay. <laughs> so, because some people are not waterproof, so it won't be fair for some people. But I want to make it so that uh, bonus gates are very hard. Therefore, if you want to do it, your truck has to be waterproof. So it. it there's no if and buts about it. Yes, it's not fair. Your truck's not waterproof, but it's not my fault because you can. <clears throat> you know what? But you know what, Frank? You could give. You could buy some conforming liquid as a prize, so they can waterproof their truck. Yeah, but some people don't know how to do that. <laughs> you 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 say, hey, I I, I you have a, I thought you have a video of how to do that. Yeah, just I do. That. You I just do. tell them the video, and then they'll go to it and they'll see how to use it. <laughs> yeah, but some people are not very capable with their hands and are scared <laughs> to take the uh the case off the receiver and a plunge yeah <laughs> it was just a thought as a prize they, they get a water conforming liquid hmm. waterproofing normal liquid yeah uh, so magnified did put his link there for tap talk yeah uh, tap talk. Uh, an invite to join so. cool <laughs> kevin gives i can't swim anymore but i can float pretty good <laughs> i can float like a brick yeah <laughs> so trail critter I, trail critter did not know i had an event this weekend so it, i don't think he's going to come up but um i thought he was at all these on facebook but i guess he wasn't and i thought i talked about this on my last rc talk but i guess he didn't catch that real brief yeah. But I don't think he was in there at that time. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, you, you're going to be you're going to be considered the next G six man. <laughs> the way you do oh, things. I don't. I don't think so. But uh, it's it's fun. And and for some odd reason, everybody looks towards me when they want to create an event. Just like that city walk uh, for Paul for One Ten Hobbies. I call them up. I go, Hey, when's the next one? And he goes, Oh yeah. He goes, Organize it. Like. <laughs> and I'll go. I go, okay, what date? <laughs> so Friday. Okay, okay, no problem. So I, I created everything. Like I'm I'm always the one organizing and creating stuff. So it's kind of interesting. But you got Open second nature. Foot. Open mouth and stir foot, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you 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 have uh, you have you just have the you just have it's like second nature to do for you to do those things. Yeah, maybe. Mike the feel have I to, have I to download a tap talk app or something? Uh, yes, you do. On your phone, yeah. You can use the web, but it they recommend it's a little bit better if you use the app. Yeah. It's quicker. Okay, it's I just wanted to quicker. make sure I wasn't getting something of it. I was going to set download now and yeah. my phone, everything no. was gone out of my phone. No, you're good. Hey, hey Sean, I expect you, uh, when the border opens, you're going to go to Frank at least once this year. The no, I don't know about this year. I have a few trips. I have to go to Ohio this year. Man. Yeah. Go to Austin, Texas in October. And I think I might go to Cape Cod next weekend. But he won't come see me. He's too much of a you live, whiner. You live <laughs> in like this welfare and blister and hell. <laughs> hey. It's maybe 100 outside right now. No. Oh, it's hot hey, here. Too. Hey, uh, hey but, Sean, uh, you could be there in the fall. Then you could probably go in the fall. Then <laughs> yeah, you could. But, but if you're doing a lot of traveling, you might not. Yeah, I have a lot of traveling coming up. Yeah, and uh, we're going to be doing a uh, what's called beat the clock. That's always fun. Beat the clock, um, which you try to do the trail as fast as you can, but you get bonus points for smaller tires you get bonus points if you help somebody if he falls down if your buddy falls and you put him back on its wheel you get bonus points which brings you up with time um if you hit a gate you get minus sometimes so you do have to be careful where you hit the gates and when you hit the gates or if you hit the gate so it's it's kind of fun um and plus the way i did it in the past which i don't know if i'll be able to do it the same way again is uh, i put golf balls in the bag little ping pong balls sorry with the numbers so two number ones two number two two number three and i told people pick a ball that's the partner you have and at the at the end i, I say okay look at the number find your partner so if you have a number one you're a partner with somebody else which you might not even know so um so so you're making teams good. yes yeah it makes people talk to each other and and judge and and mix them up and so it was interesting. And then team one drives, team two refs. So team two is the ref to see if they hit flags and so on. And then when they finish the course, they come back. Then team two drives and team one refs. So it's kind of mm. fair. You know, when you help someone out who's fell over or something like that, that's a team effort. That's correct. And then you get uh, mm. compensated for it. Yes. So it's, it, like it, it, it was fun last year. Uh, a lot of people enjoyed that and they wanted yeah. me to come to make one last year, but I couldn't because of COVID. Uh, and, but again, this year, if I do one, I probably won't mix the team um, if they don't want to. So like last, the one, last one I made, the dad wanted to be with his daughter. And I said, okay, no problem. Like, I'm not going to argue if you want to, you don't want your daughter, your young daughter. I think she was 13 or 14 to be with a complete stranger. I, I, I understand that. So uh, they were on their own team. They're the one that actually won. So. <laughs> she must be a real good crawler. Yeah. Well, especially when you go crawling with somebody that you know, it's way easier than somebody you don't know because you don't know their driving style. Yeah. Oh, look at that. He put tracks on it. He can put tracks on them. It came with him. Yeah. I'm watching oh. Green Frog there. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Spotlight. So you bought the one with tracks? Man, those yeah. things look big. Yeah. yeah I'm just yeah. putting thunder extensions on these. River. Okay, those go where? It's right on the fenders. Oh, on the fender. Fender extension. Okay, okay. Right on there. That is sweet. Oh, yes, man. yes. Oh. Hey. Cool. 
So you're just planning on you don't plan on crawling with that. You just plan on going over some surfaces that are treacherous. Yeah, it doesn't really like tight turns or backing up over stuff too much. But I think I think that would be good running in the creek where we have at Ollie's. Mm -hmm. And it'd be good for snow. Yeah, I think it's snow there. Yeah, snow day. Yeah, it's great for snow. And sand. Mm -hmm. Cool. Last thunder. Hey, Nacho Freak, how are you doing? Oh, is he coming in? Hey, Frank. No, Nacho Freak's in the chat. Oh, hey, Sang. I didn't know you came in here. He's been in a really long time. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, Sang's here. Sang must be excited about what's happening with uh, our, our favorite company. <laughs> I have no clue what's going on. Oh, we were just talking about it earlier. <laughs> I wasn't here. Okay. I, yeah, I know. Well, they're re-releasing the Porsche 934. 934? Yeah. Oh, okay. And, and they're re and they're re-releasing the 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 uh, wild one, but with different graphics on it. Yeah. And and they're re-releasing the Tom Tax, the 14, 8, 16 scale cars. Oh, Tam Tech. Yeah, yeah, they're re-releasing the Grasshopper one with the independent rear suspension. Wow. And that's coming out. Uh, yeah, a lot. Of, uh, there's some other things that I know are, are coming out. A lot, they're doing actually some exciting things. The Tom Tech thing is a big thing to bring back those little cars again. Mm. Now, those are too small for me. No, thanks. Not for me. <laughs> uh, Trail, Critter, Trail Critter RC says, I got two more parks on the calendar. Oh, cool. Yeah, he's been doing some parks, some different places. So um, hopefully if you can't make this one on the 25th, hopefully you can make the next one, which is going to be hopefully next month. So there's, there's Bill's favorite. There's everybody's favorite truck from Bill. The one with the wide. Uh, yeah, the wide red one. yeah, the red one. Cool. And he, and he has a Toyota on the top. Yep, that's his the four door, the four door one. Yeah, actually, they're both Trail Finder two long wheelbase. Okay, oh, there we go. Yeah, it looks it, they look different scale because one is more forward than the other one, so it looks different scale on on camera. Well, technically, the, the Toyota would be a much smaller car compared to the the Ford. Mm. Yeah, the Ford body is a little bit bigger than the Toyota, but it's still not quite right mm -hmm. when it comes to scale. Oh, you got a nice shine on it. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Everything looks clean. Looks good. Yep. You need yeah, to the paint black. turned out pretty good. You need to put some black around the windows there um, just to make it look like yeah. uh, more real with the rubber around the window. Yeah, I agree with that. I think that's uh, probably a good idea. I need to get one of those... Uh, the Sharpie, wide, right? Sharpie. Yeah. Uh, are you talking about for the for the Ford? Yeah, for the Ford around the windows, you just yeah, make it down dark the, just a little bit. Down the door, no, uh, down the door I, line. Yeah, I still got to. I still got to make. Yeah, I still got to make wing windows, but I've got the the windshield in the back window in. Uh, yes, Trail Critter RC. I'm probably going to do the um, Beat the Clock uh, event in August. And I might do a night event on Saturday night. So um, maybe I'm actually going to do a back-to-back -back event. Saturday night is going to be the night event, and Sunday is going to be the beat the clock. Or I'm going to do beat the clock on Saturday. I, I don't know yet. So we'll see. It would be nice to do beat the clock in the day, and then people can stay, have supper, and do a night event at the same time. And Pulled camp pork and coleslaw? Camp there. <laughs> Pulled pork and coleslaw. Pulled pork and coleslaw. No, yeah. come on. You got to dig. Last time, we, last time we had burgers and hot dog. This time we're having pork, pulled pork. Maybe next time we'll have ribs. That's oh, a pulled pork. Okay. It's, pull, it's, it's pulled pork uh, sliders, is what they are. Yes. Because they were small. Not yeah, a coleslaw I'm lover, but I like to pull barbecue. <laughs> hey, you, you should be. Uh, are you a good barbecue guy, uh, Keith? <laughs> no. 
Hey, Texas is known for its barbecue. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on now. <laughs> now, my aunt works at the Salt Lake, but I'm not a good barbecuer. Mm. <laughs> well, I might start getting some real spotty service here. Uh, we got a storm moving in. The closest lightning strike is just over half a mile away. Uh, right. So you have it. It's your monsoon season still. Yeah. Hey, the X Taz, X Taz Fast X. Uh, we're doing good. Thank you very much. He says, "What's up, Tank and everybody?" Hey. Good evening. Taz. Yeah. Hello. Uh, what is your next car, TJ? Well, uh, right now, again, uh, I just completed this 110 buggy, this P6.3. <laughs> and uh, again, there's different types that I want to get into. Again, when when we talk, when we have these talks online here in Zoom, I mean, really just kind of looking into the crawler scene and see if, okay, someday, you know, what do I want to get? Where do I want to start with that? Again, you know, I know Axel. I know Axel to be a good company. I've heard so many good things about Axel uh, rigs. So if I ever do go, it's go that route with a uh, for a crawler. I think that's probably where I'll start. Hey, don't forget that. Don't forget, uh, touring car races are very popular in Japan. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. You, you got to get at least one of those <laughs> so you can yeah, use that too. Yeah. <laughs> Is there groups in your area that actually have crawling events, or people get together and? Have I I know that over now. I haven't honestly speaking. I haven't seen any groups. I do know that all of the, the tr all of the tracks that I've been to, they have crawling areas, and they've okay. got things set up there for them, and they and they're free to you know move things around as they please. I think uh, Tamiya uh, Sky Hobby, which is about an hour from here. I mean, they really support crawlers the best. Cool. And so I know that's that's popular here. It's just I myself haven't gotten into it. And another thing that I, I do worry about is, uh, I, I mean, I, I enjoy a race. It's fun. But again, this hobby is really about people and community for yeah. me. Yeah. So if I didn't know these other guys, I wouldn't even build this car. You know, just, <laughs> as you said, you know, with your idea with the golf balls, which I really like that idea, like setting those golf balls up so people would meet and talk yeah. with each other. And that's what it's all about. I think that's excellent. You've you're spot on with that. So I even had two guys that really ate each other. Like they live, we live in the same city. And they really ate each other. And they right at the start, he says, I better not be with that F F O B or whatever. <laughs> yeah. No way. Like, no, I don't want. And then as soon as they look at the numbers, they both had the same number. <laughs> like, all, of a sudden, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I hear no F in way. No <laughs> this is not going to happen. And I just pop my head. I'm like, what's going on? So, um, and, and then I, I hear that they got the same number. I go, no, you got to be kidding me. So I just picked somebody randomly and I said, here, give me your number. You have a new number. So. I, I, I can't believe they, I, I wonder why they don't like each other. <laughs> I, I, I magnify my account is pending your approval. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know, Brad, and I don't want to know. Uh, and that's what I told him. <laughs> I do not know what you're arguing about. I don't want to find out about it. You guys yeah. are adults. Don't fight here. Just have fun. <laughs> I don't, I don't, no you're fighting. Not involved, get out. Who's fighting now? Right. <laughs> uh, some people that I know that they don't like each other. So I said, stay away from each other. Don't talk to each other. And you guys are going to have a fun day. No. <laughs> you don't like me. That's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> you get that right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm I, I'm sure you're going to get some on-road cars eventually in your life with the with the hobby. I mean, yeah, eventually someday, you know. I, we've got another guy, a friend of mine from Germany, who's here. Uh, he's doing on-road uh, cars, and um, there's actually like a group of four of us over here, and it's like, hey, you know, eventually we're all going to cross over into yeah. each other's genre. So, but well, again, you know, it's. I try to balance things out. I don't want to. What I discovered was is that 
with these cars and you see the number of cars that I have behind me. I want to take care of all of them. I want to make sure yeah. that I have, you know, the resources and the time to take care of all of them. I don't want to have too many shelf queens as I feel like, you know, hey, why'd you get it? You know, and now you leave it yeah. on the shelf. So well, it's just know, being I cautious about how much I'm you know, spending with this hobby. That's true. It, it is a lot of fun having different, a lot of different cars. Like I have 60 of them here and uh, of course, in one year, I might not drive all of them in one year, but mm. I will end up driving it. I don't have a shelf queen and they, they're all running. Well, one is down right now, uh, but they're basically all running. So I do take care, maintain them. And I love taking a walk with them. Instead of take, taking a walk with my dog, I take a walk with my cars. So mm. it, it's, it's fun. My my hey. wife likes walking, and I go walking with her, and I just go cruising with my RC car. I, yeah, I, I, that, I, yeah that's, that sounds perfect. I mean, as you can see, you know, next to the RC here, uh, if I tilt the camera over, this is pretty much all my camping gear and stuff. I have the camping gear over there, so I try to mix those two things together cool. and go out oh, there. Oh, they, they complement I mean, each other. That's why crawling yeah. will complement your camping. Yeah, crawling would complement the camping. That's correct. Mm. I told that to I told that to my case manager. He, he likes to camp. I go. He likes. He like thinks he's interested in my hobby. Go. You got to get into a crawler for yourself because it complements your uh, what you do. Mm. Yeah. E even those little SCX twenty four. They're not expensive. They're about two hundred dollars, and uh, they, they they're fun on your desk. They're fun at camping. They're fun uh, pretty much anywhere. Like he, they're they're. They're fun, but to me, they're too small for me. I I don't like them because of the size, but for a lot of people, they they're the hottest thing right now is the little tiny crawlers. They're yeah. fun. We've actually got guys. We we're doing um some comps out on the some of the same trails. We take the full size rigs on. Ah. So they're getting a lot of use. Um, I've got to go get new tires for mine, so I can put in and you can put on my wheels that I printed up oh i've known some guys that put a thousand dollars in those trucks it's stupid oh, yeah. the, the, the <laughs> uh, I, I, I a lot of people in, let's see with the knuckles the diff cover and the other pieces i think i've gotten maybe sixty dollars on top of the purchase price which that was a used one and i actually traded stuff for it so my investment in it is maybe 75 bucks okay uh taz is asking tank what is your thought on the rift uh i will not get the rift because i think those axles are way too thin and the trailing arms also where they connect are way too thin uh as soon as i saw it out of the box at the store i said no i'm not going to get that truck it has way too much power for how it's built um it's a nice truck it looks cool but it's it, uh, unless you they really strengthen beefy tubes and do a lot of different options for those. Um, I'm not going to bother getting one, not for me. Uh, it'll be a 2.0 for you because that's what yeah. will been, they, they enhance it a 2.0 rift. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, people make uh, even make uh, for those small uh, crawlers, they make tracks for them on boards with dirt and yes. everything. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, it's, 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 car, cyber phone, car, cardboard, all sorts of things. So yeah, it's, can, it's easy for 124 scale to make a table course, yes. Oh, yeah. They also brought out tracks for the their Mini Z or something, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, the Mini Zs do the same thing. Yes, the Mini yeah, Z, the Mini there's Z's. a Mini Crawlers. Yeah. The Mini Z Crawlers. Yeah, they have a couple of them. Yeah, if you ever get out here, I mean, you, know, you come to Japan, there's a place in Odaiba, uh, Kyosho has their own shop there. And that place is like a showroom. And it's just everything <laughs> about mini. It's all mostly dedicated to mini Z. And they just have everything there. It's a great place to visit. Yeah, the mini Zs are so scale. I saw oh, a yeah. go by there. And he just looked in the front window and he was like, what is this? I guess he got there too late and they were getting ready to close. He's like, I'm going to have to come back to this. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. They have tracks they put in uh, indoors. And they have their bridges on them and hills and they, they, they do all sorts of things. Like I've seen, like they do for, for, uh, 
drifting. They have they make this whole setup that's supposed to look realistic. Yeah. Well, for yeah. those that don't know, Samit is from Australia. He lives in Japan now, and he's a drifter. And he's actually going this weekend to try to get his um, uh, pro license. Oh yeah, so. cool. Yeah, he's pretty serious. I I've I've met him a few times down in a Daikoku or on location some car event, but yeah. Yep. He's very Him, serious. Him, elbow, um, cap, and all yep. them. Yeah. Uh, so he what? He wants to do RC drifting? No, he's full size. He's got a JZ X100 chaser. Oh. He just got set up for competition since his S15 is down. Cool. I, well, uh, there's a guy and I here. I definitely not- want to get those guys to come over to RC because the culture, those two are mixed together. Yeah. I've sent him so many messages about it. So, <laughs> uh, guy on the moose RC adventure says, "I love my riff." So he's got a rift and he likes it, and it it's okay for what it does. Um, I find there's too many weak points on it, but uh, I find a lot of people also don't use it right because they they send it off a a, a ramp and jump, see how far it will jump or how high it will jump. It's a friggin' rock racer. It's not meant to jump a uh, high jump and 20 feet in the air. Uh, of course, it's going to break. Uh, if you use it to do hill climbs, that's fine. It's It's got better chance of surviving. Yeah, mm. but uh, 2.0 will be able to jump it. <laughs> no, no, it can't. It's a straight axle. A straight axle, you're all, always going to have a weak point. It's just like Monster Truck. That uh, LMT, it's... Um, it's uh, the one uh, LMT or the, the one? Yeah, the LMT. The LM- LMT, LMT, where you snap the axles right in half. Yeah. Uh, that's a heavy truck. And when it lands, if you land it wrong a little bit, you'll snap that axle in half. So you do have to be careful. Don't know anything about that one. You don't know anything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, monster trucks are very nice too. There's events for monster trucks. I don't know if they do that in Japan, but we have monster truck events all so over the United States. Yeah. Everything here is pretty much 110. I, uh, I, well, I want to see more monster truck events here. Oh, yeah. So they, had a mass oh, master. They, they make a bunch of, I mean, the companies out there make a bunch of monster trucks too. So <laughs> why not? <laughs> right, later, RC Max Monster. Have a good night. Cool. 4 a.m. with him. So. Yeah, Who knows? I, didn't know, I didn't know he was a completely different time zone. Oh yeah, he's in he's in wheels. Okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, I mean, TJ, you could be the one who actually brings it to everybody to, to, to do monster truck events. <laughs> you uh, could be, yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> the, only, the only problem yeah, is I I almost picked, picked up that vortex, that Arma vortex that came out recently, but again, you know, it's like. I watch the market carefully. I watch people's videos, the comments, you know. They say, you know, the smart man learns from his mistakes, but the wise man learns from other people's mistakes. <laughs> That's not like a Japanese I'm problem. watching to see what's happening to other people. Uh, yeah, that, that sounds like a Japanese proverb. <laughs> uh, it's a haiku. It's half finished. Yeah. <laughs> The only problem is, Brad, if nobody's got them, you got to need at least two of them to race. Yeah, uh, three. Yeah, you got to have the class. Got to have yeah. three to make a class. Well, right. no, I'm saying you got to have at least two to race. Three to make a class. Oh, yeah, one thing we didn't talk about fun. is that new Pinto body from Proline. We forgot to talk about that. Oh yeah, I want to. Uh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's a buggy size. It's not a short course size. Yeah, I, I that's what that, I found out that too. That slaps on top of the slash, right? Uh, no, no, it's no, for it's like a bandit, um, a like bandit. your buggy you have there, something along those lines. Oh, okay. Not for a short course size truck. All right. Stampede? Is no. 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 Yeah, no Stampede's too big. 5595. Red, white, and blue. It looks really nice. Uh, I was wondering how they were going to pull that off because... I know if the Pinto is a short wheelbase, and I was there, yep. how the heck are they going to pull that okay. off? But I think they did a good job. Both of it's a lot nicer. I can't wait. The, I wagon, the wagon, the wagon. Wagon would have been better. Yeah. 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 From, the front, from the front and the back, it's nice, but from the side, it's hard. It's a little too short, actually. Right. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they've got the graphics on it right there as the Bob Glidden, um, Gap and Roush um, car. So yeah, it's it gold. looks right, but it's just, it's a little too short in the middle, I think, mm-hmm. what I see. Yeah. Like the front of it. And the, the I like that front right there. That looks awesome, good. Like, but the side view is just horrible. Yeah, but if they're trying to get something going with a buggy size class doing something like this, I hope they go with a Vega, a Gremlin, and other things of those of that nature because that was all the same wheelbase basically. A Hornet. And to me, that that's going to be too big. It, probably a, a new class that they're going to come out with. I think they're trying to bring out a new class. Lucky uh, base drag racing. Yeah. They, they should make a wagon. Maybe they will eventually make a wagon in a year or so. I wonder if that'll fit a one eight or a one sixteenth or one eighteenth. Uh, I think it'll be just off because the one sixteenth and all is just a little too short. No, I was just, I was just curious. Oh, it's twelve. I, no, I was thinking 25. the same thing too. Yeah, eleven twenty-five wheelbase, two-wheel drive yeah. buggy. That's our the bandit. Yeah, it's oh, probably well, kind of wide for a one eighteenth. Yeah, and also the um, wheelbase is a little bit off. Yeah, I was just, I was just curious. Yeah. You, you know you know how that you know that one six scale Jeep that that company that makes that one six scale Jeep that's very popular. They now make a one twelve scale with a moving steering wheel and everything now, and, and it's got materials on the seats that are or canvas and it's, to they me, have a no 12 scale now for it to not me this back wheel is not sitting right it should be back a little bit oh, more, yeah. Not much, but yeah. yeah it should be back about yeah. eight it does look a little yeah. too short yep but the body the line right there where you got your person yeah. going the gap between the back of the door and the quarter panel is a little bit farther back because that rear window is off a little bit in shape too well the the way it would be if it was a real car there'd barely be any room in the back right now for somebody to sit there yeah because the wheel will yeah you hope it doesn't explode when it's rear-ended <laughs> that's all i've seen today right. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> i mean i like that they did the gap and route livery on it for the white body it looks right um and then the takeoff on the um decals for the different sponsors with their own stuff but it's looking like other companies i has, love the way they did that has mm-hmm. anybody ever done a pinto body for the hobby I, no. I don't think so there is a guy that does a vega body for a slash chassis and it looks really nice um they're just hard to get a hold of and they're a bit pricey what about a Maverick? Would you like to see a Maverick? Uh, Maverick would be okay. It would go about in that same class because that and the um, Vegas and all were about the same yeah. for the class. Um, it would be cool to see them. I mean, I'm not a Ford person, but they did very well in the class back in the day. But then you had the Vegas come up, then you had the Camaros, which is a different wheelbase, which they have for the Slash and all. So, I mean... I like it, that they're going with different styles that aren't conventional. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they need to scale that just a hair better, I think. Mm. In in real life, wasn't there a a, a V eight for both the Maverick and uh, as as a, 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 a one one year only for both of those particular vehicles? Didn't they have a V eight option for it? Maverick did have a V eight available. Yes. So I'm glad Proline is coming out with these. These are 1.55 tires, rims, which look actually pretty nice, but they're a plastic aluminum look. Uh, so, yeah, that's, kind of that's, that's expensive for plastic. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're saying a, aluminum composite, so I guess it is aluminum, this one. Uh, yeah, this one is aluminum plastic. base. Yeah. Said it right in the description there. I was wondering if it's $3 or something. That's got to be aluminum. Yeah. 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 63 for two tires. You used to be able to get the all metal ones for like 80 or 80. So now they've got half plastics for 30 bucks less. Yeah. Yeah. And they've had this for about a year now. They're they're a small tire. Yeah. And it's hard to, if you want 1.55 rims, 
it's really hard to beat either RC four wheel drive or boom racing. Yeah. Boom racing one point five fives are just like different class altogether. Yeah. They're nice. They're just right now for me, the shots I go to, they're hard to get a hold of. Yeah. Mm. It's, uh, well, the, the, seat, the aluminum rim is definitely more than the tires. <laughs> Usually the tires more than the rim. <laughs> Kevin Gibbs, you are correct. <laughs> Willie's Jeep or wagon would be good. Mm-hmm. Even the even these boom racing ones are nice. And they're, they're like a bog standard boom racing. They're 1.25. Yeah. They, they also make steel ones, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, these are aluminum. Like, they're... For such a small little tire, they're detailed. Like, but for such a small little rim, and the tires in that th- this thing are tiny. They're only like what are these? Three point six, if that even. So in other words, they'd be thirty six inches tall if they were real. Yeah, they're three point six size or something. The tires are tiny. And I think the Comanche. John, you need to Green Frog, you know, you're almost there. You're almost finished with that. It's looking real good. I can can help but notice Green Frog. Yeah. Oh, it's blue. It's hey, very blue. Uh, <laughs> Dax has Flex. I pronounced him. Sorry, bro. I didn't see you say hello to me. So sorry about that. Hello, hello. So I've ordered something from Amazon from, from Tamaya. What? For this guy. For the for tires for this, because I'll go. I'll present myself like that's going to be much bigger. Maybe you'll see better. Is, did, did you paint it a different color? Because I thought no, it was no, a lighter it's, color. It's, oh. uh, it's okay. Different. It's the way oh, it works. Yeah. Looks on this because camera. these tires are nice street tires. They're yeah. they're street. Okay. So. They'd be good for your crawl. Well, not even for the crawl. I tried it on the trail, and and they gum up pretty fast, and they they're not that good. So, yeah, I mean, what, like walk it like I'm talking like when you we use it on asphalt or pavement to yes. be good for like for your crawl that type of uh, thing like you do in Ottawa. So I got these tires from Tamaya, these ones. Oh yeah, those are those are an option that you buy, and I think they're a fairly soft tire. So oh, yeah, it is written soft. I do have them here in my hand. I'll show you what the real one looks like in a second. But what I liked about those is the size of them and, and that they were very grippy compared to the other ones. Uh, and that uh, this is a tire that's actually only 3.56 tall tire. So it's pretty small tire. Yeah. So when I look at this tire, it's got nice threads on them. It looks a lot, okay. like, the, yeah, looks uh, it looks a lot and, like the ones that came on the, what, on the high list. And it is a 1.9 tire for the rims, which is nice. Uh, so, and it's pretty much close to the same size as was was on this one. It's Looks a little, like a little, bit bigger, a little wider. Not much. It's so, wider. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's a little bit wider, but it's a little bit taller. It's maybe yeah. barely any taller. So it should fit pretty good on here uh, as a replacement tire. So. I, uh, it, it is it is pretty soft. It's it's got a very rubbery smell, like real tire, mm-hmm. like a bi- bicycle tire. It's kind of cool uh, yeah. compared to the other tires I'm I'm used to. But it's it's a nice little tire. I can't wait to put these on. I did not glue these uh, on there, uh, but uh, it would be nice to get a nice set of rims to put these on. So yeah, I thought oh, so about get- different wheels and tires for my Asterion so I can run it more. I don't want to okay. destroy those tires. And when I go like in the grass and all, they do the same thing. They get gummed up real quick and they're more of a tighter tread than those are. Yeah. Hank, uh, is that a Traxxas Sport that Green Frog's working on? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The Traxxas Sport with uh, Trax. Trax. Yeah. All right. Uh, magnified, these are pretty <laughs> soft. They are pretty soft, but. Uh, the problem with uh, the um, BF Goodridge, they don't come this size. The BF Goodridge are a little taller. They're like uh, 3.75, and I wanted something smaller. So that's the main reason I got these. Uh, I got another set from another company coming uh, from uh, RC Four Wheel Drive, about the same size also. So I can't wait to see what they look like. But they're actually on 1.7 rims, 1.7. 
So they're actually meant for the semi truck wheels, but they will fit on a 1.9 or fit on a 1.55 so that you can stretch them both ways. So uh, I can't wait till those comes in. So you're getting new rims for those, for those tires? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I will look around. Those are 1.9s. They're available everywhere. So we'll see. That's why I was looking at those nice chrome ones there from Proline, but they're like 69 for two. So uh, price is kind of iffy, but we'll see. Rotax. Well, Frank, as far as uh, Rotax. <laughs> one nine wheels, you can get them real cheap on Wish or, or Geek. Okay. Yeah, um, waste though. Yeah. Anywhere from 35 to 50 bucks. Yeah, you're well in the width for in six months. Yeah, it's place. weird because I've heard some people well in the yeah. waiting two weeks or a week. And yeah. some people they say, I've been a, a year, I've been waiting for my stuff. Or it's everybody has a different experience on Wish. It's, yeah, it's better. It depends on Just, what it is. Too. Don't buy clothes from them because they're way too small. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that. Yeah. Some of, the, some of the stuff I get from them, I get like on time. And some of the other stuff, it's just like you even forget you ordered it. And then it comes in the mail and you're like, oh, how long ago was that? <laughs> like, you mm-hmm. know? So, so don't, I, I guess like invoice, invoice is a load of different little stores. So it depends on what store it's probably coming from. Mm-hmm. Like it's all independent sort of vendors type thing. How about deals? Can you get something from deals? No, deals is the end uh, uh, store. Uh, the the Enjora store on which <laughs> has been pretty quick about sending stuff. Uh, Enjora, though, you got to be careful with their bodies. They tell you that their SCX can through bodies, but when you get one, it was never tried on an SCX can through in its life. Okay. So, so yeah, I've never see, bought their bodies, but uh, but their wheels are good. Yeah. See this shirt? I had, to cut it, I had to cut it out because I got a triple X, but the, and I had to sew giving the dog a bone on it. Because I got it from Wish. And it was supposed to be a triple X. So don't buy clothes from Wish. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, that actually, you say it doesn't. It just as a turning problem. That looks like it's a very tight turn for the tracks. I can't hear you. You're you muted. Yeah, mic's off. Our box and stuff is not so great. Uh, I bet the turning radius looks good for tracks. A TRX four has good turning radius. Yeah, but it's. It, 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 it's a, it's good, but it's not that great on rocks. It, it just doesn't want to turn with the with the steering servo. Oh, that's then you should get your you should get yourself a thirty kilogram for it. Then thirty right. kilogram. You want to get yourself them shocks are on the on the tracks. Yeah, they're for tensioning the tracks. Oh, okay. Keeps yeah, they're mini Revo mini Revo tra- uh, shocks. Nice. Cool. <laughs> Well, well, now you, the, probably the same that shocks that go on the, the, the vortex, right? That, that's the servo you want to get, Brad. <laughs> Never mind your 30. I see that. What? what that, 12, yeah, 1200 ounce, 22. Oh, volts. okay. Oh, okay. That's a, that's that's an the expensive servo. servo. That servo's got to be over 100 bucks. That's a servo. That's the servo you want to get behind. Yeah, different price range. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like $124 or something. I mean, he could get he could get him. Couldn't he also get himself like uh, like that uh, five sixty five or five seven five from uh, from reefs? Yeah, fives, fours. Like the good yeah. the good thing with that servo that I just showed, it's actually direct power. So you plug it into your balance port on your you plug it into the balance port on your lipo battery. Okay. Oh, it runs off the battery directly. Yeah, it runs directly off the battery. So run, it can run from two S to six S. Cool. I, I, I wonder. I wonder how long it, the battery la- shortens the, the the length of the time it runs with that though. Probably a little bit, but not much. Yeah. The the servo probably does not take that much power. It takes power, but not probably not that much. Green Frog, you said that was a kit. No, this was RTR. Oh, okay. It came with the uh, a bunch of you ordered them uh, tracks, right? No tracks came on it also. Wow. Uh, oh, he came, he got the RTR with the wheels and the tracks. Yeah, before I got it. It didn't 
with wheels, unfortunately. Now it does come with separate wheels. So you could you could swap it out to the wheels that come with it for free. Okay. The but green frog, what's it like living with that thing? I mean, like you're driving it. How often is it on your bench? <laughs> Not a couple times I've worked on it. And I have to take it out only a couple times back when it was snowing out. Yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't look dirty at all. No, it's not very dirty. Like, there was a question in the chat there for you, Keegan, from the Axtas. He was asking about your, um, he said he never seen your Finnish Rift. Did you show it? Uh, yeah, I'll grab it. Oh, yeah, the Finnish Rift, yeah, with the nice hey, paint job you did. Hey, hey, uh, uh, hey Keegan, you going to run that thing with the track soon? Yeah, possibly. But like I said, I liked it better in the winter and on the rocks. It's not that great with this servo. So until I change the servo. He likes his RC so much, he hides them. <laughs> he wants to keep it. The, the, give it a blanket so he can put it to bed. Oh, the dust the cover. Put it to bed. Dust cover. <laughs> Gotta go night night. <laughs> night night. Just these are dusting them. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> That one too had a blanket. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Handkerchiefs. That's one way to keep the dust off of them. Uh, a big handkerchief. That's a big handkerchief to fit one of those. I need too many to do that. Heck no. I'll just wipe them down. Yeah, that came out, <laughs> that came out nice, Kevin. Yeah. Really good. It's, it's a rainbow color. <laughs> it's kind of rainbowish. That's fun. When I see that, I, I got I, the only thing that comes in my mind is add dirt here. <laughs> <laughs> what I see when I look at that is remember the nerd candy? Nerd the two candy. Colors? Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, nerds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, maybe you that. should glue some onto it. <laughs> Put little nerds on the body panels. <laughs> Uh, it'll help it, 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 yeah, it, the bind it and stuff and do end points on the servos. Hey, the candy would help protect the body because it would crush the uh, candy before it would crush your mm. body. <laughs> so what uh, what power system did you put in there? Uh, X. X? Uh, okay. Yeah, 550 long can, uh, 3300 KV. It's kind of cool where you put the power button. Right. Hopefully it'll work with the the battery, I may have to move it, but yeah, because every time you're gonna close the hood, you're gonna close the power if it hits the battery, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, on, off, on, off. You said servos. <laughs> you got two servos. Yeah, it's got a shift, yeah shifting servo for this. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You get it up and tall up and inside of it, but then the, obviously the steering servo. Yeah. So it's got a two gear, right? Two gears. Yep. Does, yep. does does it have a dig also? I think it does. No, no, no dig. The capper no is the one that has the dig option okay. with the single speed. Yeah, the rift is just for complete maniacs. Yeah, yeah I'll probably just try it first. This can only take 3S, and it's not even a 4S capable ESC. So. Oh, it's still going to do over 30 miles an hour with 3S. Yeah, it's got, it's got 17 tooth pinion still, so it should mm. be pretty fast. Nice, so the the accent's sweet. Thanks for showing. Cool. Worries. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to love yous and leave yous. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye, Sean. <laughs> Thank you very much for leaving us. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bye, Sean. Bye, Sean. See you later, Sean. Uh, later, Sean. Uh, hold on. We got another five minutes, then we'll log off also. Yeah. And don't bro. forget, don't <laughs> forget, uh, I'll don't myself, forget TJ. I'll get myself yeah. found from the chat before I go. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Guys, have a good night. Fun. Brian, you too. thank you very much for always sending me the invite. And everybody in the chat, don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you head out. So have a good cool. night, everyone. Good hey. night. Uh, good night. Hey, TJ, you can stay out. We have an after hours talk after he gets off. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm off today. It feels great. So let's cool. go have a long time with us. <laughs> <laughs>
It might happen once a year in Japan that you'll be able to do that, but you know. <laughs> yeah, especially you right now. What is it? Uh, you're on the 23rd or you're still on the 22nd like us? 23rd. What's your date? 23rd. Yeah. 23rd. You're, you're okay. So you are one day ahead of us. So if Jack's not available to give us the lottery numbers, you can always give it to us. There you go. Yeah. I wonder what's going on with Jack. He hasn't been on for the last two weeks. <laughs> I, I, I think he's mad because last time he was on, I, I put him in timeout. So he didn't enjoy that. <laughs> timeout. He's always on video with us. I know, but when he was chatting, he said something I didn't agree with. So I just deleted it and I put him on timeout. And he says, what the heck did you put me, did you delete my comment for? I agree with it. Like to me, it was not, you should not have put it. So I deleted it. So that's the power of me being the host. I can mute somebody. I, if I don't like what you're doing in the chat, I can kick you out. I can do whatever. It's just, I didn't agree with what he was saying. Mm. The moderators. Yep. So. No, no, he's more than welcome to come and chat with us. I have no problem with that. Okay. He's been very active with bringing back a lot of his old videos. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I, I did like that sandwich one. That sandwich looked good, too. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. We, we drove, drove to the corner with it, and, and he, uh, the guy made him a sandwich, and he put it on a trailer with the vehicle, yeah. and he, he brought it back to himself. Yeah, that's an old one that he's made a while ago. Yeah. Back. Um, yeah, I, I, he says, well, you weren't, you weren't with us back then. I go, well, I still saw the video. Doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. In uh, I got back in 2018. In three years, I now have like 14 cars now, like 13, 14 cars. Oh, yeah? Wow. But how many yeah. of them are hobby grade? All of them. So, actually, most of them. Come on now. You said you I, have some. Uh... I have some toys, yes, but I also have, but most of them are hobby grade. Okay. What's, well, uh, you have Tamaya and a, um, the other one. Uh, is, Arma, Arma. Arma. And I have, I, I, I have that PXT or the PTX one, that little 14 scale, uh, uh, mm -hmm. crawler. Okay. Uh, uh, believe it or not, I have to say it's at least semi hobby grade is the new bright because of the, New the, Bright uh, is not hobby grade. Come on now. Because of the brushless motor, it does. The, don't give a crap. Can you get parts for the hot for for the for them? I could get. I I was getting parts in the beginning. Yes, I did, was able to get parts. Yeah, I, I can't able to get a battery for them. For them. Uh, yeah, They're yeah. Not I, hobby, New Bright is not hobby grade. Sorry. Sorry. Well, I can do things to it like a hobby grade. That's why I say that. Yeah, you can modify them. Anybody can modify them, but they're not hobby grade. Well, uh, uh, I don't know a toy that comes with a brushless motor, so. Oh yeah, there's there's starting to be a lot of toys with uh, at Walmart and things like that. They, they are brushless now because I've it's becoming cheaper for them to do. It's becoming way cheaper for them to do the electronic brushless and to do brushless motors. So of course they're going to start putting it in RCs. Yeah. Well, they started doing lithium ion and lipos, but you mm -hmm. know, yeah. yeah, that's what I noticed too. There's a lot of cars coming out with lipo batteries, small little lipos, and you charge them with your five volt. There's a lot of them out there. Oh, or, or USB port. Yep. Yeah, that new USB. USB chargers. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to find one if I have. I think I got one around here. Yeah, so one of these boxes. But yeah, I mean, they are kind of kind of convenient, especially when you're charging multiple things. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, Magnified made a good point. Nico made brushless, but it was still a toy grade. <clears throat> also, but Nico also did make some hobby grade back in the 90s. Very few, yes. But the ones that were brushless, I know, wouldn't talk about. They were toy grade. I, I know that, uh, I know that, but Nico definitely leads, lets you put any hobby grade electronics in their cars. It's easy to do. I lost my mouse. My mouse started stopped working. Uh oh. Yeah, here it is. Shoot it. Oh. You talk about one of these little like doohickeys right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got like yeah, I mean, 
It's just something I, I throw in a, in a pit bag, you know, just if I happen to need it, yeah. use it. It works out. It's all right. They're okay. It's just you can't – it's a trickle charger. It's going to charge your batteries very slow. So it's not something that's going to charge your batteries at uh, 5 amps or anything. So. Well, what happened to uh, Dennis? I can't believe he left. I didn't know he left. A while ago. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, Sean's doing his uh... – No. He said, I got my weekly timeout, so now that it's lifted later, everyone, don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sean. <laughs> Sean, I got to send you a message tomorrow. I'll talk to you then. Oh, you, you actually talk to him? You actually message him? You message yeah. to each other outside the show? That's amazing. Yeah. Just kidding. I know it. <laughs> cool. So we'll start doing a round table saying goodbye to everybody and good night. And we'll start with uh, uh, the guy that's actually muted, John Martin. <laughs> Want to give him trouble? Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> good night. Thanks for having me. See everybody next week. Yeah. Now that you've broken the transmission, you got to take the other one apart just to fix it. <laughs> no, I got it back together. That's what I was doing. <laughs> I didn't know Sang left either. Thanks. Yeah, it's true. Sang left. Uh, Bill, go ahead. Well, thanks everybody for coming and chatting with us. Um, it's been cool. a fun talk, and uh, don't forget to leave a like on your way out. Thanks a lot, Green Frog. Thanks for having me, Frank. Thanks for doing these each week. Um, Good luck with the new new course alleys this weekend. With the, the competition, looks like it's going to be fun. Uh, yep. Happy week, everybody. Take care and take care of each other. Cool. Thanks a lot. Uh, KBRC. Yeah. Thanks for having me, Tank. And uh, guys, take care and see you next week. Thank you, uh, AZ Froggy. Uh, thanks for having me, Frank. Um, Thanks everyone in the chat. Um, just stay safe. Have a good rest of the week and good weekend. Go have some fun with something. Go rip mm -hmm. something apart. Have some fun building. Do something. Get out there. Yeah. Yep. Like that. Uh, Brad. Thanks for having me, Frank. Uh, it's good to have uh, JT. Just wish he could be with us more often <laughs> for longer periods of time. It's always good to have him here. Uh, I like that. Uh, I don't know how many ha how many people did he have on the panel today? At once, oh, no. nine, nine or ten, I think. I think we're mm -hmm. ten for a while. Ten for a while. Eh? Yeah, it was a pretty. It was a good crew today. So, uh, I uh, hope everything will go back to normal next Tuesday, and, uh, <laughs> and, and see you all later. <laughs> Thank you very much. And it doesn't matter the quantity of people we have. It's the quality of the talk that we have. As long as we can talk to each other, that's what counts. It's both. Yep. <laughs> uh, Spin Rush, go ahead. Uh, again, thanks again for having me on this show. Uh, I love talking with you guys. As soon as, as, soon as we started talking, uh, I mean, you guys put a smile on my face. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I would just say to the viewers out there, uh, if you're in the armed services, uh, you know, thank you for your service. And also, please try to tune in to the Tokyo Olympics. Uh, a lot of athletes have come over here to Japan, you know, and they're doing it at some risk uh, to represent our nation. So, and again, for the Canadians as well, I know you're out here as well. So, again, support them. You know, if there is any particular event you want to watch, just try to tune in. Just tuning in supports them. So again, hit the like button on your way out after watching this. Thank you. Cool. Uh, sorry, I was reading the message. Somebody wanted me to send him a link. He's going to come in for the after hour. So let me use my pad and present myself real quick. There we go. Got to use my mouse pad. My battery died on my mouse. Uh, Thanks a lot, everybody, for everybody to come. And I uh, really appreciate everybody that came on the panel. And again, if you guys, anybody of you uh, in the chat wants to come into the video chat, 
uh, send me an email at the tankrc at gmail.com and I'll be happy to send you a link with everybody else. So guys, until then, go charge up those batteries and go out there and have some fun and break something because if you're not breaking anything, you're not having any fun. Talk to you guys later. Bye.